Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. We're here to discuss Faraday cages and what we're looking at right now is we have a Dicombachia plant inside the Faraday cage and this is a Faraday cage made out of aluminum window screening mesh and it's grounded so the cage is actually connected to the ground pin of the plug. So the thing that is going to happen with this plant, which is quite different from my previous Faraday cage experiments, is that this plant is only going to be in the cage part time. And the reason for that is many people have now resorted to sleeping in Faraday cages in this toxic radio frequency society that we now live in. And many people are getting sick and to avoid that they live in Faraday cages. So I'm interested to know what part-time living does to the Dicombachia plant when it only spends its nights in the Faraday cage. So this is how it's going to be over night time. And then over daytime, the cage is going to be removed. And the plant is going to sit near to a window all day long. And then when night time comes, it's going to go back into the Faraday cage. And this is a lifestyle that many people are now living today in the modern Western radio frequency society that we live in. So I want to know whether it's biologically harmful. So that's what this experiment is about. And as soon as I have some more information, I will do another video. It typically takes a good six months to get any data from the Dyfenbachia. And uh, hopefully I should have another video update to this experiment sometime later this year. I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.